Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Pierre Hidari's uh, Emporium of Technical Mercedes Knowledge. Uh, I mean, classical, mer classic Mercedes knowledge, uh, also heavily technical. And um, uh, one of our subscribers today sent us this question uh, a couple of days ago, which is going to be answered promptly because we love our subscribers. And it's about oil pressure. And so, uh, I get a lot of questions about what is normal oil pressure for a Mercedes. So using this oil pressure gauge from an 84300D, we are going to demonstrate what proper oil pressure is. Now, of course, with the engine off, oil pressure is going to be at zero bar. Nothing. When you start the engine cold, you should get this. The oil pressure is going to peg and it's going to reach the three. This is with any Mercedes. If it does not reach the three, you have a problem, especially if you have a mechanical oil pressure gauge like you would on all 123s, all 115s, all 116s, uh, all first generation 107s. Uh, you very early 201s also had a mechanical oil pressure gauge, but 126 is second generation 107s from 1981 and on also did not have mechanical gauges so back to our thing now when you are driving you should also always be on three if you are driving and your oil pressure gauge starts to flutter off of three you either have a problem with your oil supply or you've got a problem with your electric sending unit if that's what you've got in the car like if you have a 124 or 126 and you start to see the gauge jumping up and down erratically keyword erratically uh, if it's smoothly and consistently holding position no you've got an oil pressure problem there's no problem with the gauge or the sending unit finally uh, when you're at warm idle your oil pressure should drop down to Somewhere between one and two bar. I think that's about normal. Like on my 280 SE 4.5, it'll usually idle about two bar or 30 PSI when it's uh, when it's in drive on like a cooler day. And uh, you can drop as low as one bar. That's about normal. And that's pretty typical if you have a higher mileage M103 engine. However, when you accelerate, you should build oil pressure again. And you should have realized three bar, three bar of oil pressure by 1,550 RPM. If you have an M117 engine that's struggling a little bit more and it's not building full pressure until 2,000, well, maybe you should think about using a thicker oil, but uh, 1,500 is generally where I like to see full pressure. So now that we've uh, familiarized ourselves with the instrumentation, Yes, there is a place where these gauges leak. It's, it's uh, right, right uh, here in this hollow spring that expands under pressure and actually uh, manipulates the oil pressure gauge a little bit so that it comes up. And yes, that is, that is actually because oil, pressurized oil fills this, this sort of crescent-shaped sleeve right here. Anyway, for more questions about how your Mercedes-Benz is instrumentation works don't hesitate to ask us we'll tell you uh, keep subscribing to our channel and uh, if you really like us send us a donation and keep telling your friends because we love to share this information with you guys and we're doing it because we love it not because we're trying to make a ton of money off of it thank you so much and have a great day